All right? So what I want to do is what we say is, ooh. OK. So what we have x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before what we did, when we did synthetic division, we said, hey, divide x plus 3 into that polynomial, right? And when we divided that, we would say, well, I need to make sure that I write my factor, or I'm going to write this divisor, this number I'm dividing into my polynomial, and I need to make sure I set it equal to 0, and then solve for x, which x equaled negative 3. Now we're going to get more into why we do that and what these two numbers understand. But before, what we, what we just learned is that I said, hey, just do it. We're, we're going to talk about why we're doing it in a second. Yes? OK. Right. So now by applying synthetic division, remember we take the coefficients of each term, 1, 3, negative 4, negative 12, bring down the first number. Uh, 0. Did I write the problem right? Oh, I did. I just not multiplied it. Thank you. Remember. So that's by applying synthetic division, which you guys can see I did very, very quickly. right? Now, what we notice is, remember, we wrote our answer. We said, that's your remainder. That is going to be your remainder. This was your constant. Here's my linear. And here's my quadratic term. So therefore, what we had was x squared minus 4 was my other factor. That means when I take this polynomial and I divide it into this polynomial, I'm left with an answer, a quotient of x squared minus 4. So therefore, going back to it, I could say that x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 is going to equal um, my original polynomial, right? Now, for real. So what I want you guys to understand, so we look at this. Now what we're going to do for our homework is before even writing this other factor, we're going to ask, find all of the factors. So how do you find all of the factors? Well, we need to see, can we factor this down to our linear factors? Is this, first of all, is our answer linear? No, it's quadratic. So we have to see if we can factor x squared minus 4. Well, you can't. unfortunately, you can't take the x out of the 4. But does anybody remember what form this would be if I factor this? A difference of 2 squares. So we can quickly factor this to x minus 2 times x plus 2. And remember how I wrote this times x plus 3? Well, now I can just rewrite the x plus 3 here. And you could say, here's my factored form. Well, I, I, I don't know. Well, I wanted you guys to see, now I have rewritten this as all of its factors, all of its linear factors. Because this times this times this multiplies to give me there. So it's like a two-step problem here. You're going to use synthetic division to divide this in there. And by using synthetic division, what that does is that proves, that shows that since it re divides into there with no remainder, I know that it's a factor. And once I know that this is a factor, I take my remaining factors and try to factor it down to linear factors so I have a set of all linear factors. So what 